you doing kind of after everything that's happened the last week? Yeah, I think it's been a heavy week um, for all of the players. Um, there's been a lot of highs and lows. Um, I think I've been um, encouraged by people like Alex Morgan, who's here, uh, Mana Shim, Sinead Farrelly, um, Kaya McCullough. I think there's been some incredible people who have stepped up and used their voice to help make change. Um, but with that, I think uh, so many people have been affected throughout the league. And so I think it's been emotional for so many people. Um, and at the same time, I've been incredibly proud of all the players in this league. Uh, we've united. And we realize that uh, putting an end to the silence culture uh, is within our control if we stick together and something that we can be an example uh, for other leagues around the world, but we have to take drastic measures to make sure it changes right now. What needs to change? What does the NWSL need to do to make sure this never happens again? Uh, well, last night we put out a list of demands. I think all of those demands need to be met, um, but I think putting systems in place reporting systems in place where players can anonymously report uh, abuse. We need owners and people in power who are willing to listen and whether they believe it or not look into these allegations. I think it's important always to protect the players. Um, and then I think on top of that counseling systems um, where people can feel safe uh, from a mental and emotional health standpoint where they can feel heard and um, yeah and I think we're working together with them. We didn't have a work safe policy until this year. And I think since then there's been a number of coaches that have been let go. So